Geologically, we have no idea why the Hawaiian Islands exist. Check this out. Volcanoes almost always form along tectonic plate boundaries, where spreading or warping of the Earth's crust allows rock to melt and rise to the surface. Hawaii is completely volcanic, but nowhere near a tectonic plate boundary. Instead, the Hawaiian Islands are what's called a volcanic hotspot, a single point where volcanoes form. The giveaway is that as you move from northwest to southeast, the islands get younger. So the source of volcanic activity seems to be migrating southeast. But the hotspot isn't moving. The Pacific tectonic plate is moving over it. Hawaii's big island is the youngest. That's where volcanoes are erupting right now. And as you trace the chain northwest, the islands get older. Keep going and you'll see this chain of mountains underwater even more increasingly older islands that have since been eroded and sunk back into the ocean. And this continues for about 6,000 kilometers, ending just shy of Russia and Alaska. And just southeast of the Big Island, there's this young underwater volcano called the Luihi Seamount, quite possibly the next Hawaiian island. Hotspots are found all over the world. Samoa, Yellowstone, there's a really weird one in Arizona that I made an entire video about, but that's its own rabbit hole. Hotspots are not fully understood and their origin continues to be debated. I love geology and looking at a place and learning how it got there, but there's something uniquely beautiful about standing on something that you can't quite understand. This is the fourth of five videos about volcanic islands, so I'll see you for the last one and my favorite one tomorrow.